You know, you said that the family says that they're not giving up hope, and they're not at this point. But they did tell us this afternoon that it, it's hard for them at this point, as you can imagine. She's been missing now since at least Tuesday, and there's been no word from her since. Uh, her sister told us this afternoon that it was difficult, especially yesterday, when divers were out at a retention pond in Calumet City, miles from Naila's home, searching for her or anything else, any other clues in her disappearance at that pond. The sisters, uh, there were family members who actually went out to the pond and were there waiting for any kind of word. Police did leave without saying they found anything at that site. Now, I understand that, that the car that was found 30 miles from Chicago was actually spotted by someone on Tuesday night, but that person didn't say anything about it until Friday. You know what? He, he didn't realize, he didn't make the connection that right. it could possibly be this missing woman's car. He regularly walks in the area. It's in Hammond, Indiana, which is very close to that pond in Calumet City, Illinois. He regularly walks the area, saw the car. He believes he did see it there Tuesday night. It had been sitting there ever since. By Friday, he heard a news report and then called to find out whether this indeed was Naila's vehicle. Oh, right, straight Mich out to Michelle Fiore with WBBM News Radio. What's the latest, Michelle? Well, while Craig Stebbick has not been uh, talking to police except through his attorney at this point, he is talking to the media. He spoke with reporters, with TV cameras who knocked on his door. He's also talked to us at the, uh, the uh, vigil that was held, uh, the first vigil for Lisa Stebbick. He also is answering his telephone still. Today, he talked with us at WBBM News Radio 780 on the telephone about that report of blood being found on his uh, at a tarp that was in his pickup truck. Craig Stebbick told WBBM that uh, if this report is true, if there indeed was blood on that tarp, it would be because he hunts. He hunts often, and that would be what uh, he believes uh, that that blood could possibly be. Later in the day, I did talk to Dion Davi, who is Craig's attorney. He is uh, telling us that uh, the report is not official at this point, and that uh, he says, you know, the same thing that Craig has said, if it is true, if there is blood, it could possibly be related to Craig's hunting. Uh, Dion Davi says it's still just an allegation. He says he has a hard time believing that there is even a tarp in question because he says he has a list from police of all the evidence that they removed from the house of the first two times that they came in for consensual searches of the Stebbick home. And Dion Davi says that nowhere on that list does it show that there was a tarp that was taken from the home. Well, there's more than one way to explain that, Michelle Fiore. I, I want to ask you a couple of questions about his earlier statement that he made to, I believe, WMAQ. And that statement was a little, if it's correct, was a little more specific. He stated that he had gone deer hunting the week before his wife mysteriously disappeared and that he believed if there was blood on the tarp in the back of his truck or in his truck, it would have been from deer hunting. Did he say that to WMAQ? Right. We, which, which is confusing, of course, because it's not exactly deer hunting season up in the Upper Peninsula right now, as you as you know. Uh, when we when we spoke with him on the telephone, our reporter from WBBM did specifically ask about the deer hunting. Craig's response was brief. He was courteous, but he was brief, and he just said, uh, "You know what? It, it, we, I hunt. I hunt often." And that was it. So the, the statement began to change a tiny bit, to morph a tiny bit, from deer hunting to hunting, correct? Correct. Uh, interesting. The I want to go back is, to... And the nature of the blood marking. Michelle, do we know anything? And these are all questions that you're mentioning. Dion Davi has himself. He said to me, if indeed the report comes back and it proves positive that there was a tarp, that it was taken out during one of these first two consensual searches of the Stevic home, he wants to know just what you're asking. How much blood was on it? Was it indeed Lisa Stebbick's blood? And, and can we even look at DNA anymore? He says that there's uh, studies out there that show DNA isn't exactly as uh, proof positive what? as we may think. Oh, this well, is what he said wait, this wait, afternoon. Wait, 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 wait. Yes, yes. Who's this? Dion Davi, that's Craig's attorney. He said that there was a study came out not too long ago that questions DNA's uh, whether or not it's 99.9% uh, .9 accurate. <laughs>